See, the truth about yourself is your consciousness is so powerful that some of it is already living the reality that you always wanted to live. This is not some misconceptions, but an acknowledged and proved reality. This concept has been proved multiple times by the quantum physics. According to the science of quantum physics, you have been bestowed with power to live in different realities. You have the potential to move among them or create your own. And this concept, my friends, is not apart from Plato's theory, where he mentions that all you reality is created by mind, and it is your mind that is responsible for creating each and everything around you, both seen and unseen which means we can shift our reality if we shift the working of our mind. This overall concept of changing our mind requires and shift in our thinking and mind-thought pattern and how do we respond to them. We call this shift as quantum jump, and the overall process is known as quantum jumping. But to have a control over this process and overpower it, we will have to first understand this concept deeply. And for this, my friends, I want you to watch this till the end so that, that you can get all the knowledge that is required to master this quantum jumping. And once you do that, I want you to subscribe to our channel so that you keep on getting updates about such an incredible content and wring your desires life at your hand. Now to have deep understanding of the overall process of quantum jumping. Let us begin it step by step. Well, this is such an advanced technique where we utilize advanced mechanics and you know what the best part is here? We bring into use the law of attraction and the process of manifestation. This method involves the shifting of energy and keep you in different energy level that belong to different universes so that you can easily travel in different dimensions. The basin principle that make the foundations of the quantum jumping is that there are multiple quantum realities in our universe and it has multiple detentions of existence. Each of these realities and dimensions possess a unique and powerful vibrational frequency of its energy, which means if somehow a person can make his body vibrate at that certain frequency where the reality of his desires exists, then he can easily go into that dimension and reach the reality of your desires and wishes. And this is the point where you ultimately bring your desires into your physical reality in the three-dimensional world where you are living. Once you master this technique, you can have each ever desire of yours manifested whenever you want it, because now you transcend the boundary of space and time. Now, the very first step of this method requires you to pay all your attention to whatever you desire, bring all your focus to your desires and wishes, and once you do, that begin visualizing yourself in you imaginative world, such that that you living the life of your desires and wishes for centuries, and you have full control over them. You are their master. The whole universe know that those wishes and desires only belong to you, and there is none who desires them more than you. This thing will change all you feelings and emotions as per your desires and wishes, and consequently will change the vibration of your body as per the vibration of your desires and wishes existing in the universe in the quantum field. And this, this quantum field will now communicate with the three-dimensional world where you are existing and ring all your desired things into your reality. See, to make you understand it more deeply, let me give a basic understanding that each and everything is energy, as you already know, and energy does not. Know the boundary of time and space. And secondly, the energy can't get created by any outside sources. It is divine in nature and is ever-existing. It has been there forever for an eternal periods of time. It can't get destroyed. Now the only thing with the energy is that it gets transformed from one form to another based on the vibrational frequency of the energy that matches with it. So from here, it is damn clear that each and everything that you want is already there. Existing in the form of energy, you just have to make the vibrational frequency of your body as per the direction of the frequency of your thoughts and desires. This concept makes it clear that as each and everything is energy, hence everything is divinely connected and everything works and goes in harmony with every other thing. This way, all the realities, all the desires and everything is connected and not miss. 
that there are as much dimensions of the universe as you can think of. They are limitless in numbers. Now let me make one thing clear to you that how do we make our body to vibrate at that certain frequency? Or even how do we vibrate? What is the source of vibration? Well, my friends, that is your thoughts, intentions, and emotions. Every thought and emotions, your body, you have produces and certain specific vibration that interacts with the same level of vibration existing in the quantum field and bring that that thought into physical reality. So we only have to turn our thoughts and emotions as per our thoughts, emotions, and intentions. The basis of the quantum jumping is found in almost all the religions of the world, and it is mostly found in Western cultures. This practice is practiced by bringing into a category of mediation as per the cultures and religions of the world. This is the process where you make all your attentions, intentions, emotions, under your control and bring your mind and heart at your command now. Once you overpower your thoughts and emotions, you overpower the vibration of your body, and now you can tune it as per your desires and wishes this concept of quantum mechanics is introduced by a renowned author, Dr. Amit Goswami. He proposes that once we start practicing meditation, we become conscious of our thoughts and emotion. We become more self-aware. We begin reaching the true depth of our potential. We develop a sense of evolution and growth. We develop problem-solving mindset and techniques. Our wisdom increases and, now just by altering our attitude towards our reality, we can shape it as per our desires and wishes. We can direct it as per our goals. Now you might think this process is too easy to get done, but nothing is that simple. If you think it to be too easy, then it is nothing but a mere oversimplification. See, you are a combination of your mind and heart. Whatever thought and emotions you produce are based on these two powerful entities, your brain and your mind. See, if we deeply analyze their working, then we can't deny the fact that our heart is more powerful and is dominant over our brain. What our heart consists of is it consists of emotions and feeling. And you might have noticed that most of the emotions and feelings, of course, that are intense come from the past, events past joys and past regrets. And then there comes the feelings of anxiety. They come from the concern of future. Now, what do you get from this explanation? It clearly states that all our emotions mostly belong to past. And now what the past has no significant value. It is dead. It is good to learn from. But if you live there, it means you are living a dead life. And not only living in the past, but destroying and killing the present. Similarly, when you have future concerns, they are also formed based on the past experience. Then again, you are destroying the present moment. See, your brain is so powerful that it processes 4,000 billion bits of information per second. And now you can think, if that information of the past, then what we are doing? We are living a dead life, a life of the past. Now let us go more deep into this concept and explore the mind. See, human mind is composed of two paths, conscious and subconscious, where subconscious part is 90% and conscious part is 10%. You know, it is your subconscious part that runs most of your life because it is the place where you past events, action memories, and all the information you process stores in your subconscious mind, and it is responsible for most of the reactions in repose to the information in processes, and the best part is it does not analyze or differentiate the piece of information that it gets from any place. And on the other hand, our subconscious mind, being only the 10% of our brain, is slow, and processes only 2,000 bits of information at a time. The information traveling speed of this mind is 150 milliturps, which if compared is much slower than the subconscious brain that is 100,000 man-hour, and that is why the subconscious dominates the conscious mind and control all the actions and reactions of our life. Now from here, it is easy to understand that if we want to overpower the happenings in our lives, then we have to have a control over we have to overpower our subconscious mind and to make better quantum jumps and exactly land in the frequency where our desires and wishes lie, 
we have to leave the past and future concerns and live in the present moments. Once you start getting conscious of this overall process, your mind will start putting filters and filter our all the past and future concerns eventually, and finally your quantum jumping process will reach it. Peak and you will be able to perform miracles. Then now, what is the practical process to enter those high domains of quantum energy? Well, first of all, you have to have a controlled mindset that is calm, relaxed, and peaceful. For this, my friends, there are certain techniques that have been suggested by most of scholars of the world. The very first one of them is meditations. This powerful modern techniques can lift you to heights of your mental capacity when you begin meditating all body and your mind come at relaxing. State. You stop paying attention to useless thought ad memories. You ignore the unwanted and make your mind rest for peace doing that creates room full of clarity and vividness, a place where you will find no fuss and rush a moment of tranquility and placidness. Now this is the place where you can mold your mid as per your desires and wishes. This is the time when you can control all your thoughts and turn them into positive ones, the ones that are favorable to your desires and goals. The ones that don't let any negativity come across your way. While meditating, it is fundamental that you start taking deep breath and become conscious of every inhale and exhale of the air moving and coming out of your body. This mindful breathing. My friends has the power to connect you with whole universe, all power of the galaxies in the universe, comes in harmony with you. Begin feeling that it all flows in you and you are their source. This thing will boost you make you active. And this is the place, my friends, where you will get the power needed to jump from one quantum reality to the other. Because now all your attention and the universe's energy is in your contact. But wait, this is the crucial moment. This is the tie when you have to be careful because you have to focus all the energy and attention to your desires to get them manifested. Otherwise, all this process will be meaningless. At this moment in time, you take the charge of your life and now you no longer depend upon the outer circumstances. They don't have power over you. They don't control you either. You control them. Instead, focusing on the negative things around, I want you to shift all your attention to your desired reality and show gratitude for what you already have seen. Gratitude is such a powerful tool that has the potential to make you the king of your life even in the hardest times. Because when you express gratitude, you don't only appreciate what you already have, but attract more of it, as per the law of attraction and law of abundance, and the energy of your body gets boosted, and you begin attracting what you become. Grateful for now. Once you are done with meditation, it is imperative that you leave out all the negative feelings, such as doubt, fear, anxiety, boredom, jealousy, envy, vain, agony, anger, fury, dejection and cultivate the feelings of appreciation, kindness, positivity, belief, trust, love, peace, placidness, peacefulness, joy, and blissfulness. You have to have trust in your power. You have been since the very beginning of life made as the co-creative all your reality. And if you don't take the control, then it is your fault. You yourself let it be regulated by the outer environment that is most of the times negative because you yourself gave it the control. Now you can't blame God for it. Therefore, my friends, it is time to take all your control back from the surrounding and utilize the cosmic divine power hidden deep inside you since ages. So my friends, it is time to be conscious of our thoughts and intentions and see whether they're leading us towards our desires and wises or they're negative and taking us away from them now. If they are negative and taking control over you, have to get rid of them and engage into the ones that are in favor with your desires and goals for this. The only thing that you have to do is to look deep down inside you while meditating and discover the true potential hidden inside of you. Just have to realize the fact that it all is in your hand. God has created you as the commander of the universe. It is you and only you who can control the happenings in your life. And it is you, only you, who had given the power to the surrounding to work against you. Otherwise, there is nothing in the world that can go against you. Now, in the end, I want to 
leave you with some very powerful scientific knowledge. See, the realities have been misinterpreted since ages in the times of ignorance. People have been believing that quantum jumping or tunnels have little to do with human life, because it happens at subatomic level, but as the world grew more knowledgeably and became scientific, it came to know that it is only the quantum field that directs all the happenings in our life. The way we interact with it conforms that this is the type of life that we want.